carpool into a Straight deep into half a position. deep half. And see what we were talking about earlier is hiding that hand that's not under the leg because we are talking about that arm is very vulnerable if you're not aware of that. Yes, he's protecting it from a Kimura. Looks like he he's brings it back inside. got a belt grip from under the leg. Like I said, I do mostly no gi, and I'm very familiar with this deep half position, but you don't have the same grips that you do in the gi, that grip that he just had on the belt. He's even using a sleeve grip from under the leg to keep him controlled. He's kind of broken out of a very pure deep half position. Miguel. He's working to that position on top. Now we have Miguel in a, a three quarter mount. Let's see what he goes for from here. He reaches through to gap, grab sort of a gift wrap position, gets bridged over, not quite. Can set up bow and arrows from here. There's a lot of things you can do as far as chokes from this position. Chris has definitely got to be aware. Absolutely, there's back takes. There's a lot of danger here. He should really be aware here. All right, he's found his deep half, half position again. again. Miguel has a grip on the collar behind his head, helping kind of keep that space. The power in this deep half position comes from the control over the hips, but Chris doesn't quite have his A hips deep. fully controlled. Yeah, he's. Uh, it looks like uh, Miguel's knee is free, which he should be able to backstep right out of that position. And uh, Again, it looks he's like he's grabbed climbing a lapel back up. grip. He definitely has much more control over his hips here. Looks like Chris really likes, loves this deep, deep half position. He's really moving Switching and- Switching his hips. Absolutely. Really moving yeah, and getting Miguel tight. off balance. This is tight. Miguel is trying to grab that back collar for a cross face. Well, he elects to go for an underhook on the far side. If he slides this bottom, his bottom knee through, there is a top side triangle if he bridges. There it is, ah, yep. there it is. He's, he's gonna slap it on here, looks like. Chris is really making that difficult here. I'd like to see Miguel grab his right shin if possible. Chris isn't in it any immediate danger, but a few adjustments away, and he's definitely in trouble. He's really trying to extract that arm. Miguel is really trying to extract that arm from Chris's body. Once that arm is extracted, he really purely has one arm in, one arm out, which is one of the most dangerous things that can happen in any guard. <laughs> Absolutely. He's holding onto a lapel grip, it looks like, yes. that's keeping him safe. Uh, he can pop his head out at any time and go for a double under, if possible. I'm not sure what Miguel has going on at the top with his grips. If he gets him stacked up and kind of inserts his there. bottom knee to help break open that guard, so enough so that he can pop his head out, that's gonna save him from this position and get him clear. He's really being, Miguel's really being patient from here. Uh, there is triangle danger here. Um, Chris is very, at a very strong angle. He could begin to start stepping over the bottom leg so that he can pass. It's gonna be you difficult can, with the guard closed. You can really see Miguel, like you said, being very patient. And oftentimes you find in jujitsu, uh, because there's a lot of strength between these two guys, is if he's patient here and he's, cause Chris has gotta have uh, a lot of grip strength to keep a hold of those. If he can wear out his grips and just be really patient, he may be able to break that arm a little easier. Absolutely. Looks like Miguel's trying to use his own lapel to set something up. 
yes, which is a great idea, brilliant attack, because Chris's hand, both of his hands are occupied right now. Mm -hmm. There's nothing defending his neck. Chris really can't let go of any grip right now. So he does have, he really doesn't have access to any of his limbs, just kind of like what I was talking about. The more limbs you Crazy. have, yes. The more limbs you have, the more effective your jujitsu is. Miguel is keeping that pressure on. Uh, Chris is All able right. to posture out. He fi he's finally out of that position. He's keeping both his arms underneath his legs. Not quite double under just yet. Careful there. He's got one arm in, one arm Great out. Great over under attempt here. Great over under. He's up on his toes. All he has to do is switch his hips and back step out. He switches his hips and back steps out. He should be passed. So keeping good control. Great pressure, great leg. control here. He's really putting that three point pressure into Miguel on the bottom. He's really driving his right shoulder into his diaphragm with that tripod position that he's working from. Drops back down to the knees. He's back up on his toes, really putting pressure. Flex to flatten him out from half guard. But Miguel does have a butterfly hook in, which can be dangerous. I There's a lot of details to the over-under pass. Mm -hmm. He's keeping good control. Really, whenever I do this pass, the most crucial part is that he can, keeps control over that leg. That If he doesn't have control over that leg, right into a triangle. Chris's whole goal here should be to beat the knee that is trapped in between his legs. If he can step over that knee, He'll be in a great position to pass. But Miguel is making that very difficult. He wants to extract that leg for a triangle. Chris cannot let that bottom leg come out or else he's in triangle danger. There's a... Tri great tripod, great yeah. tripod by Chris. He's trying to drive that right shoulder back into his diaphragm and not allow that foot to come out. I don't know if you'd call this like a phrase or like a jujitsu saying, but like he's gotta bring his leg over and like eat the knee. Like if your legs are eating, their legs, you're winning. Yes, absolutely. So, in that over underpass, that's really the last piece. Great tripod. I love to see him going up to this tripod. If he back steps his left leg out, he likes to flat, drops he... back. All right, we've got two more of an open guard position. And the belts have come off. And that's time. Great match. Great match. Really, really good. Very high level match by two very high level black belts. It's good to see. And they're both really good sports. I like seeing that. Uh, I don't know who. I, I think I would give this to Miguel. I, I was one of the. That was a very tight match. We'll see who comes away with it here, Lily. Your winner out of the red corner by split decision, Miguel Velez. Miguel Velez was able to come away with the victory.